Hello and welcome to my playthrough of Kingdom the Far Reaches. This is the 3DO version, mainly because there is uh, no playthrough of this video version on YouTube right now. So, uh, yeah, I'll be the first, yes. She is. I'm so happy. It's an interplay game, kind of like Dragon's Lair Adventure Mode or something. Virtual Image Production presents, and this game has an even more interesting story behind it than it has in the game. You can choose between Apprentice and Wizard. Apprentice is an easier mode. You have to barely do any puzzles in that, but we are going to finish the hard mode of the game. But first, let's watch the introduction sequence. Daylon, what's wrong? Nathan, a terrible thing has happened. Drake's blood the wicked has imprisoned the rightful ruler and claimed the throne. You must find the relics, the black mace, the hunting horn, and the orb of Mobus to defeat Drake's blood. Hurry to my mansion. I am preparing scrolls to help you on your journey. The kingdoms are counting on you, Lathan. Leave Wygod, Lathan. The Guild Lords are tools of the Plague Magician, who is Torlock's ally. Flee across the marsh wastes and into Isles. So right here we are in the city. We have to go to the underskirts of the city first and see a blind beggar. Ah, oh, a blind beggar. Hey, a blind beggar. But uh, the first thing we have to do is to get uh, to Daylan's mansion and um, get the Scrolls of Seeing. You are my last hope to find the relics of Mobus and renew the magic that grows old as I do. But until you hold the relics, be cautious in your use of magic. I understand, Daylan. I have finished new scrolls for you. I give you three scrolls inscribed with spells of seeing. They bring sight to the blind and show those with vision that which is hidden. So now that we have the scrolls now, of seeing, scrolls we get the chance to be understand? teleported somewhere in this world. Uh, or first we have to choose between uh, which scroll we want to have now next. Choose. Where in the kingdom of Wygard do you wish to go? The village of Glendo, where once you lived... And now we have to the, the chance to teleport the somewhere. Forest. But uh, which one do we take? We take the city again. So this is just the same cutscene playing again, but uh, now we have the squads of seeing. And we have seen the blind beggar, so we can heal him right now. So, let's pick the squad of seeing and heal him. You healed me! When the town hears of your powers, the guild lords will have to give you safe passage to the haunted waterfall. It is the law! This is one of my favorite uh, lines in this game. It is the law! It's just so fantastic. This is my second favorite one. Ho, oh, fellow! Who are you? Norton the Huntsman. I know much of these woods. For example, I know that the Crystal of Kaldar will enable you to overcome the Crystal Tigers. Come back sometime and I'll share a story with you. I'm Norton the Huntsm Huntsman. I know much of these woods. I can't get this out of, my out of my head. I love it. So yeah, we have to... Uh, one thing you can't do in this game is quick travel, at least, at least not without a spell. And we'll need that spell later in the game. Now we have to waste time a bit. You have returned. Until our squads of now. understanding are finished. Now the next thing we need are the squads of release. Now. And we won't go anywhere. There we go. From the mansion to uh, the marsh wastes and pick up the cold fire. These are important for a later puzzle in the game. Now uh, we we'll, we'll use the scroll of seeing to find our way through the marsh wastes because everything is full of fog and we can't find the way.
Now there's a sign to Illus. To the desert. First we'll go to the shimmering oasis. Uh, don't touch the water, it will kill you. So this place doesn't do anything except kill you. So now we are here at the campsite. These guys want a uh, want to uh, to see something to show that we are friendly, are you the people? and we don't I have that yet. You. And if we don't have it, they're going to kill us. But we can also use the scroll of understanding to impress them with our magic, and they run away of fear. Do not use your magic on us again. Go away. And once we do that, we find this old beggar guy and we get the onyx stone or something. Onyx seal. Thank you. I am honored by your gift. You remind me of a villager in Weigar. Come and toast with us. Which is quite important for a puzzle later in the game. All these puzzles aren't really hard to figure out except the last one because you're timed for that. But that's not too important right now. Oh no. Here we get um, robbed by well, robbers. That's all the swine has. Let him go and run, you scum. So now we have lost all the things we have. Uh, the only way to get it back is to surprise the thieves and get back our bag. See, we have nothing in there at all. Or we get killed, and when we get uh, killed and resurrected, there is uh, we get all things back. Right there, sometimes there's a glitch. I don't know how it works or why it is like this, and uh, we can't go back to the marsh wastes for some reason. It's not selectable. So right here we can't do anything except get killed. This was my intent to get my things back, which is quite a bit faster than surprising the the robbers. Lathan, be cautious. Bandits who will steal everything you carry roam the rocky desert. Sadly, I got respawned at a point where I didn't want to go. So, right now, our only way back is uh, the uh, campsite again. And uh, we have to use the spell of understanding again, which is not that good you because uh, we only have three you different squ move. squads of under understanding. Uh, uh, we have three different squads of everything, and yes. I don't know if you can use the Onyx Seal, I have never used it, and maybe they're stealing it from us or something. Because when you use an item at the wrong point in the game, there's a good chance that you destroy it or it gets stolen or something. And you can't go uh, further in the story because it's needed later in the game. You have to go back to the Shimmering Oasis and we get robbed again. Grab him! Let go, you goons! Don't lay a I curse on your miserable... Don't life. let him free! He's one of the magicals! And look here! That's all the swine has! Let him yes. go and run, Yes, so this happens a lot in the game. And uh, as far as I know, there's no real way to get your, your things back unless you uh, get lucky and can surprise them. I haven't found a consistent way to do it. Um, maybe uh, someone out there can tell me, but I don't think that there's a way. You have to get lucky and kind of find the robbers. You see, I kind of go the way back and um, go the same way and the uh, way in the different du direction, but it doesn't. It doesn't work. You just can't get your things back for some reason. So let's just get killed again. See, we can't go b back to the marsh marsh race, but to the box in the moor. And every time you go there, you die. There's nothing you can do there. Just get killed. So now we get res resurrected in the in the uh, mansion again. So this is what wow. we wanted to begin with. No, scroll of traveling. With this you can travel all over the world, uh, but you can't do it when you're in bad health. You can see the kind of trick up there. 
Uh, it's short right now, over the picture you can see it. Um, if it's long we have three lives and if it's short we have one life. Right here you get killed by these ghost things, you have to, you have to use the cold flame to uh, kill them. This stone has some runes on it that we can't understand. We have to use the spell of understanding, but, but we'll need that later in the game, so I can't lose my use my last one. And this is the crystal. If you touch it, you die. So we have to use this spell of release and get it that way. The wizard Kaldar infused this with the last of his powers. Norden the Huntsman knows best how to use these powers in the kingdom of Wygod. So yeah, that's how it works. Now we, we have everything to go to the next area in the game. But first we have of course have to of course watch all these cutscenes again. In the center of the city they have now heard of a good deed of feeling the um, the beggar and the council will now lead us to the waterfall. He belong at the waterfall. But I'm God stick him. Right here, if you get there from the town hall, you will get healed. I don't know, if, I don't know how much life you get back, if it's all or just some. There, one life, you get back one life. Or you get healed. Because when you use the traveling spell, you will feel weakened and you can't use it again. So these things give us, uh, give us tips for the game to complete it. Two, to be exact. You are the Wood Elves? The people of the forest? Yes, and we know of your quest. Mobus was our friend, and we offer you the help of the Wood Elf staff. So these things just give you the staff for no apparent reason, just take it. Take the staff to the fairy circle in the forest, and give it to the fairies. And go to the fairy circle, which is on the far left of the map. Fairy circle. And right here, hmm. we can hear laughter, but we don't before. we don't see anything. So we have to use our last scroll of seeing. So if you've wasted one of them, uh, you can't complete the game. Now I see them. What strange little fellows! So the scroll of seeing is one of the few that you have to use all of them in the game to complete it. Uh, the other ones you can pretty much waste, uh, like, like one or two of them. Therefore, we now show you the Castle of Crystal. Uh, goodbye, friend. So give them the, the staff and go to the Crystal Castle. Crystal Tigers! And the Crystal Tigers will kill you if you haven't got the Crystal uh, of Kelda or what it's called. And kill them this way. Now I just go into the The Talisman crystal. Scepter rules the people in the Kingdom of Isles. With it, you can receive their aid. That book right there, you can watch the credits or the intro sequence that we haven't showed in this video. Here you have to use the Onyx Seer in the Apprentice mode, you can just walk into the door. Uh, the Black Mace, the first artifact we have to collect, is now in our possession. And we can move on to another part of the map. This game was released on multiple uh, systems, like the first one was uh, under the name Thea's Quest for the RDA, RDI Halcyon system, which was like Dragon Slayer arcade machine for your home. Back then it costed $2,500 in, in 85 and uh, the computer had a voice so you can talk with it, it was voice controlled and stuff like that. Uh, it was a really cool system, only two games were made for, the, for it and this was one of them. Later it got released for uh, disk systems and PCs, like the CDI got a version, there's a complete playthrough of the CDI version on YouTube from someone I don't know. And uh, it was released for the PC, uh, the PC version, there's also a playthrough online, and, but the 3DO version doesn't have one. So mine will be the first one as far as I've seen. So now we have these gigantic people right here and we can kill them by using the Crystal of Kelda again. And this game is actually quite good. Uh, it has a lot of negative uh, 
a lot of negative uh, feedback on sites like Good Old, Good Old Games because you can get this game for the PC on help, Good Old go Games someplace else, someplace far away. for we like $5. Now leave. These won't do anything for us right now. We have to go to uh, the Temple of Sindra or something. But first we get surprised by wind. of release and we should be fine. You can see the animation quality varies from time to time because as far as I know for this 3DO version I don't know if the CDI or something has had these sequences as well but they got uh, reanimated and are completely different now. Go into the side entrance. You have meddled in things beyond your grasp, apprentice of Daylan. <laughs> Right here, use the black maze and everything should be fine. Now we have defeated Torlok, at least for the first time and the only time in this game. Torlok is pretty much the main villain in this series, uh, all the, the other people are just his henchmen. And now leave the tower again, that's all we have to do right here. And if you have defeated Torlok, these priests will give you the talisman scepter. Right here, the monks take the talisman scepter, which is uh, the sign that you are the ruler of the land, uh, the ruler of Illus. And now the other people will trust us. A message, hills lead to temple. So these women, we have to show them the talisman scepter. You show the scepter that rules this kingdom. Therefore, accept this bow, take it, and use it at the entrance of the hedge maze of the Argent Kings. This right here is completely optional. You don't have to do this. In the hedge maze, I'll talk about that later, you can, use, you can go through without the bow. But first we have to cross the mountains somehow. If you try to climb up the mountains, you'll fall down and die and lose a life. So you have, we have to go over the shore and we have the chance to use the black maze or the bow. And the black maze will kill the uh, death ray, I think his name is. Uh, or devil ray, I think devil ray. And, uh, you'll, uh, you'll stay alive, but if you go the way uh, back, so if you want to walk over there the other way around, back to Illus, you will get killed if you use the Black Maze. Dalon, I need more help. The Rightful Ruler of Iskar can help you, Lathan. Rightful Ruler of Iskar is of course the princess that was kidnapped in the opening sequence. So right here, let's go up there. Oh no, surprise! The Plague Magician attacks us. This guy is a henchman of Torlok and we see him a couple of times, or we sh would have seen him. Uh, sometimes you get the chance to, to get uh, cursed by him, but now he is dead. Right here, the lizard people, there are two ways to kill them. One, we have to our... Uh, Av availability right now. It's the Crystal of Kada which will explode and get damaged so, so you can't use it again. But we won't need it again. Grab the sword and don't use the white door. Don't be as stupid as I am and use the white, uh, the white doorway because there will be a teleporter to uh, Dylan's mansion. And you don't want to go there yet, so you should have used the, the left door to stay in that part of the land. Right here there's no way to go back, which I will discover right now. There, yeah, no way to go back sadly. Uh, so we have to use the teleporter to the mansion. What was his name? Wait a second, I have the manual right here. Dalan. 
is his name, and our name is Lathan uh, in the original Thayer's Quest version. There, uh, his name is, of course, Thayer. Like I've said, there are multiple playthroughs on YouTube right now. One is CDI, one is PC, and uh, one is the DVD version of Thayer's Quest, so the original Halcyon version got uh, ported to the DVD and you can play through the game with it. So you just have to use uh, the... Oh no, not again. Grab him! Let go, you goons! I'll lay a I curse on your miserable... Don't let him free! He's one of the magicals! And look here! That's all the swine has! Let him go and run, you scum! Oh. So we got whopped again. So yeah, it was ported to DVD player, so you can just uh, use your DVD to play through this game. I don't know if it's printed still. So now we don't have anything to defend ourselves with the death way or devil way, whatever his name is. Will kill us! <laughs> and now we are dead. But we will get resurrected and get our stuff back, so this was what I wanted to do. And if you remember, you, we'll, we got the golden bow, which we should use at the entrance of the maze. So, let's go to the hatch maze next. It's down here, hatch maze. I am Isimbe, Grand Master of the Maze that you must enter. If you can find the center, you will find the third relic. Right here you can just use a path and uh, if you use the correct one, uh, you have to choose multiple times, you will get to the uh, center of the maze without uh, using the bow. But we already have the bow, so let's use it and just follow the golden path. So yeah, like I've said, uh, there are multiple playthroughs. The DVD one isn't really of any use to someone playing the 3DO version because there's no over, overland map you, you just use at the end of each cutscene where you want to go to next. So there's not really a, a real way to uh, look at the route the people are going. The, the CDI one is different from the peer, from the 3DO version, but uh, it can be used for the 3DO one because uh, I got stuck at one point and I watched the CDI playthrough someone uploaded, just use CDI, he, he had like two attempts he failed at, and then uh, on a th third attempt he managed to beat the game, so I used that to play through this game. Right here, use that weird orb we just got. And we get all the coins, which are important for the next quest. Because we'll go into the hideout of the main villain right now. Drake Blood or something is his name. Let me check in the manual. It was right there on the screen right now, but I didn't. Palace, you know. and his didn't read it. Like you're coming here, they get very jealous. How do you know I'm a wizard? Ha! Who else travels in these hard times? Drake's Blood is, is his name. The evil king of this land. We have to slay. And right here in the, in his castle, like the guy right there said, uh, his magicians won't like us very much. until Drake's blood imprisoned her in the North Tower and claimed the throne. He was corrupted by Torlock, as are many here. By the way, the uh, Thayer's Quest version of this game, uh, for this reason, for this game, it got completely redubbed, and even for the CDI one, it is different. The um, the voice acting is different, the lines they say are different, so it can be quite uh, uh, quite confusing for everyone trying to play the 3D or version and uh, using one of the other versions as a guide. There is a guide on game facts for this game, for the 3DO version, and it is complete but a bit confusing to read. Hello, um, I, because uh, well, they just list uh, all the points you, have, you can go to, like this castle yeah, or the hatch the maze, and tell you, you can what you can the get there and what you need to get that thing there. Be so it's quite confusing to read. 
and uh, I just wanted to have a straight uh, play throughout this game to see what I was doing wrong. And like I've said, this game is quite good, so go exactly this path I took right now and you will get your things back that were stolen from you. Pull the rope, don't uh, grab the bag or pull the chain because you won't get your things back. You, you won't get killed, but you won't get your things back. And now let's visit the king. Just follow the path with the crown on top of the um, on top of the uh, doors, and uh, it will lead you to the throne room. Right now, the time is quite short, so you have to select the coins quite fast. For your generosity, I'll show you a better way to leave my palace. So right there, that's what we needed. We have to uh, harvest the sweet right here. Look to water to find the chalice and to aisles for your greatest test. Right here we have to cut off the silver wheat with the sword. The silver wheat shall return here. And I'm not quite sure what happens when you touch it. I've never done it. Uh, I've always cut it down. So, and now, right here, we have to uh, get back to Illus as fast as possible. Because we, want, we don't want to waste anything, uh, any time in this playthrough. The game is only when you go straight through it 40 minutes long, but it will take you a couple of hours to figure everything out if you don't use a guide. So one uh, life left, we'll save the game because there, uh, there are things that can go wrong right here. And the fastest way back to uh, Dallin's mansion is to use this doorway and you'll go into the clock room. Right here you have, you have, to, the, you have to choose between two destinations. The, re the left one is Dylan's mansion and the right one is the Dark Keep or Death Keep, I don't remember what its name was. That black castle with the lizard guys up there, uh, we, I was talking about uh, earlier and we visited everything. earlier. So we got everything he, he could give us. And we will now go to our next big quest. Which is pretty much the biggest and most complicated quest in this game. But first, to uh, avoid getting killed later in the game, we have to get back the golden bow. Because it got used and destroyed when we entered the hedge maze. So right now we have the bow back, so let's make our way to not get warped again. Sadly we do. One of the magicals and look here. That's all the swine has. Let him go and run, you scum. <laughs> so, right here, when I played the game, I had a real big problem. I have only one life left, so I, got, I can't get killed to get all my things back. So, uh, we have to use the long way around it and somehow surprise the thieves and get our things back. So I just wander around randomly. I don't think, I really don't think there's a consistent way to get back your things. You just have to get lucky and go someplace where you surprise your, uh, the... Yeah, here, right, right here sometimes this appears and if you get into an area like this, uh, if you don't, don't uh, leave fast enough, you will get killed. So yeah, I think you can just wander around randomly and not uh, and hope for the uh, thieves to appear so there's no real way around it for some reason some po sometimes when you go there there's a old wizard guy that helps you on your quest and uh, even this uh, dunes camp thing uh, right here, these big guys that wanted to kill you aren't, aren't there. And sometimes they are, sometimes they don't. Or they are not. This guy wants the silver wheat we harvested earlier. And... 
bed will uh, only get you uh, get you through if you give him the silver weed. You can. <laughs> I've done two different things. Once I used the black mace uh, on him and it got destroyed, and once I used the coins, he just took took the coins <laughs> and said, "That's not what I wanted, but thanks for the coins." And then he well had my coins. I was quite sad. Will be on Finally, ship and trade that chump's bag for passage to Shadow and <laughs> Never knew what hit him. So right here, just use the small walk and distract them. Stop throwing rocks! I wasn't throwing them. You were. So not, now that we have our things back, let's go back to the bridge protector guy and uh, give him the golden wheat. Can't go there directly, we have to go to the campsite first. Right now the guys are back. I don't know. Maybe if you don't have items or something, the, all these things happen because want uh, they, again, want, don't, they don't want you to get you killed or something. Uh, quickly. Maybe that's why uh, earlier they didn't appear. Use this talisman scepter again. Is this the proof you want? Welcome, ruler of Isles. Our hearts and our tents are open to you. And right now starts the hardest and most involving you know quest in about this game. The our legends say that the relics of Mobus can free the kingdom from yet? the shadow of evil. These people just give that us random hin hints. Story. We don't really need to complete the quest if you already know what they're saying. You don't, you don't have to go there to get the information. By the way, you may have seen the uh, video quality on this game is quite bad for some reason. I don't know why. So uh, I've seen the DVD version of Thayer's Quest seems to have uh, better picture quality, but uh, the PC version and CDI version all seem to have pretty bad picture quality the 3 dr version as, as you can see as well. It may actually look a bit better in this video than it does in real life. So go into this area and your next quest will begin and we are almost at the end of the game. Your kind stole the golden chalice from me. Uh, I didn't I take your powers and give you until the sands run out to bring back my chalice. Now choose now we have to choose between two areas, go to the haunted waterfalls and you will get the ability of tight cont control. The tides of the sea are yours to control until the next full moon. And you can see the hourglass in, at the bottom right right there. And if you don't uh, do this quest in time or we die, uh, the quest will get uh, interrupted and we have to start it all over again. And if, if you already used all your uh, items and you died or get uh, or run out of time anyway, they're just gone. You have to restart the game or reload an earlier save file. So that's why I saved earlier in the game, just to be, sh uh, to be safe. Here Who use the, you? the the, the tight control. Around. We offer no violence, only the advice not to deal with Drake's blood's wizards. They are powerful and evil. These guys have the golden chalice that God King in the temple up the above the, the uh, mountains the uh, wanted. Where they fought their last battle. So all we have to do now is go back to him, which is a <laughs> quite long process. So we have to go back to uh, the battleground of the Argent Kings, I think the name is. Valley of the Argent Kings. And get back the coins, because we have to do everything we did earlier again, because the silver wheat is now gone and we uh, can't use it again to go uh, get past the bridge guy. So it's not too hard, just Walk around a bit. So young pup, you've found my chambers. Guards, throw him to the beast. It will amuse my courtiers. <laughs> right now there shouldn't be anything new to you. You have to just, like I've said, do all the things again you just did a couple of minutes earlier. Cut down the wheat again. 
And right here we are going to go back to the Valent of the Argent Kings. Uh, we have to go there first because there is no other exit from this area. And no, yeah, go to uh, Drake's Blood's Mansion again. And go back to the clock room because you can teleport to another place. Which isn't really needed, we could have went there on our own two feet or something. But uh, I decided to teleport there. I could have fast traveled as well. I didn't. So if you have, you have uh, any fast travel squads left, uh, just walk there. Or teleport there. So right here, that's why we why we got the golden bow, which I wouldn't have needed if I had used the teleporting squads. But hey, we all make mistakes. Right here, like I've said, if you use your um, no, I couldn't have teleported. You can up, you can oh. see up there the trick is uh, dark and almost black. Uh, that means you're ex you're exhausted, and if you're exhausted, you cannot um, teleport. So we had to walk, and that's why I got the bow because the uh, like I said, when you go back that way, the uh, you will get hit on your head by the black mace and kill yourself, and uh, get resurrected at the black keep again. So there's no way around it. You have to use the golden bow or somehow teleport over there to Dallin's mansion and uh, walk the rest of the way. So time's, time seems to be up almost. So let's just walk there and the quest is done. I've done as you asked. Now remove your spell. It's done! What's more, I'll tell you that in the kingdoms of Iskar and the Four Reaches, you find how best to use that hunting horn. Piece of junk. No good for Cumulus. Now, where would you like to go? And just teleport back to the haunted uh, waterfalls because I wanted to get my life refilled. I could have teleported some, some th that, 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 that. somewhere else, like the Valley, Valley of the Argent Kings, I think is one of the teleporting points, which uh, would have been more useful, but I wanted to get uh, my life back just in case. We'll just use our quick travel squall once again and go back to the Black Keep. And the lizard guys appear once again. This time we don't have the crystal anymore. It's, it's already destroyed, but you can kill them by using the hunting horn. Uh, and it doesn't get dis destroyed by using that. We use the left entrance into the secret back room. can't understand these things, so you have to uh, use the scroll of understanding once more. So if you don't have one left, now you can't complete this quest as far as I time. know. And now we have the uh, wo uh, the wounds, so uh, everything we do, basically, we are in the white if you use them. So if you use them and kill someone, you're in the white, because you have the uh, key to all the whites in this guy, or something he said. So now we can finally slay the king. Just walk in there. You trespass on my hospitality, young wizard. Now I shall take your life as well as your gold. <laughs> and now use the wounds first. And after that use the sword to kill him. I don't know if you can shoot him with a bow. It probably won't work. So use the sword, kill him. I'm sorry, I, I had no choice. For ten years I've waited to see this. Thank you, friend. And now we can release Grace Delight from the North Chamber, so she can rule her kingdom. So yeah, if you don't use the wounds, they will uh, throw you to the monster and it will kill you. You've done what no one else could. You freed Iskar from the evil that held it. Please, be my guest at the palace. Until you're ready to continue your quest. I accept your gracious offer, princess. And the game is over! That's the end of the game. But one thing you may ask yourself, there are like five artifacts you can collect in this world, but we only have gotten three. Well, we'll come back to that later. Right now, let's watch the credits. 
And uh, like I've said, this game is quite good. I like it a lot. Maybe because I was actually uh, making a DVD game or planning one out, uh, but it's just a big pain in the butt to uh, make a real game with DVDs because uh, when you have two items, uh, you have to make the entire game, everything by hand, every menu again. One with the one item, uh, without the other, and one with the other and without the one, and one with both of them and one with uh, none of them. So you have to make the entire game again uh, four times because you can't uh, change the menus like on the fly. At least I, I don't know how it works. But uh, yeah, that's why that project fell through. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll do it one day or something because I don't know how to program. So I have to use DVD menus and it's a big pain in the butt. It's not complicated, it just uses a lot of time. So these credits, that's why I like this game. It's basically like a DVD game. That's why I got, uh, why it got released on DVD. And right here, this is a trailer for the second part of the, in the game, where you visit the next two areas and get the remaining two items. Sadly, this game didn't really uh, didn't get released on the 3D. Oh, I think it got released on the CDI, PC, and on DVD. So yeah, I don't have any version of that, so I have not played this game, and it is not available on good old games or something. So. Yeah. And a hero's hopes rise. You can see Lathan got uh, a makeover, he's now older. And, no <laughs> and the picture quality is a lot better. So it's, it's weird like that because uh, the original game didn't get a sequel but the port did. The fantasy is yours. Kingdom 2 Shadow One is the title of the sequel. And that's this playthrough. Fantastic game. Thy quest has ended. I'll see you in the next playthrough. Bye.